Hello, how's it going people YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to eSports PGA Tour career mode. So quickly just going to go into golfer. Um, we do have a skill point, but what I'm going to do is, at this moment in time I'm quite happy with my overall skill set. Uh, I think we've got another couple of levels to go, so we'll get excellent at skill points. I think we'll get what, maybe... 14, 60, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to leave them build up and then I'm going to put them into where I think or maybe even, I might even take some away. Um, maybe shots that I don't really use, take them away a little bit or maybe take some off and put them elsewhere. But at the moment, I'm actually really quite happy with the balance that we've got. We do have the equipment boost because I have been playing other challenges. So I've got my Matsuyama Wedge Iron and my Dustin Johnson skill set equipment boost on there. That's why it's quite high. Uh, when I equip my bag one or bag two, my tour bags, that will come down. But overall, I'm actually quite happy with the my skill set at the moment. I'm just going to leave my points, skill points, probably even up to 50 get all the skill points and then see where I want to put stuff. Or maybe if I get enough, because obviously the power here is going to cost 8. And that whole thing is going to cost 26. So, you know, there may be a bit of skill point refunds coming on at some point. Which I'm going to need coins for, so I need to keep maybe some coins for that as well. But that's that's an ongoing process. Um, so let's jump back into career mode. So I don't know, I, I don't know if I'm really going to like miss, um, miss events. Uh, I'm probably quite happy just playing every week. The only one that I'm not really fussed about playing is probably the Florida Classic at Wetlands Golf uh, and Country Club. Um, Wetlands is, I wouldn't say it's its not a great course. Uh, and then we've got the one before the, the players, uh, the Cliffs at Whitehouse Point. Again, maybe not, although that's the, that's the Bay Hill, sorry. So week seven, and we've qualified, so yeah, we'll be playing that. Um... But yeah, I think I'm just going to play like most of the stuff. Uh, we've got to work on our uh, OWGR ranking, which is the the what is I'm trying to think what um, OWGR means. Official, that's what it is. I, I I couldn't think what the O was. So the official golf world ranking, which were 67th in the world, still got a long way to go to get up to where Patrick Cantaway is, but. Uh, I think we need to be top 50 for the Masters, which that's one of the, the kind of goals. Uh, career settings. Again, we're on 96. I might just leave it at 96. Um, uh, I'm tempted to go to, to 95. I'm going to go 95. I'm going to go back, because I don't think there's really much in it, to be honest. So, so we're off to the W um, Waste Management Phoenix Open at the stadium course. TPC Scottsdale is just a, a great course again, so let's jump in. First thing we need to do, we're at 93 because we've got the bad birthday bag, which is kind of our default um, club spec bag. I need to go and see, I don't know if I've got a ball spec actually for that one. But let's change. So bag two has just got different wedges in it. And I think it's got a three wood. I'm actually kind of tempted to try. I'm tempted to try that, although. Because it that's got a, a completely different. It's got like a 60. It's got a 50, 55, 60. But this one's got, instead of having the two wood, it's got the three wood. I think it's also got a hybrid, and it's also got a 64, 
a 58 and a 50 something. Do you know what? Let's just put bag two in. Just to see what it's like. So, conditions. Tournament leader is eight under par. Coney Corners. We are currently four under par, which is pretty decent. Uh, we're playing against uh, Captain Soul. So, let's go. Let's do this. Again, just to, just to say I'm really enjoying playing PGA Sports. Or P EA Sports. Sports PGA Tour. And the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From perpetually sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, it's live opening round Quite. coverage of the WM Phoenix Open. It is called the People's Open. Enthusiastic crowds have been the norm. 700,000 fans expected through the turnstiles this week. As we check the early leaderboard, the leader is the Canadian Corey Connors. He's rolling early at eight under par. Beautiful Meanwhile, course. Our featured golfer, that that, that stadium section is just maybe make amazing. An early move up the AM leaderboard. So let's get you out to the Pretty action. Pretty good simulated the first uh, front nine there for under par, four birdies, par four ten. five pars. So Frank, the tour has left Pebble Beach where we were last week with its subtle grace and time-honored traditions. And now we've got a whole different set of traditions here in oh, Scottsdale, as you well know. Cheer. Our featured golfer played well last week up in Monterey, but now this is going to be unlike anything they have ever seen, don't you think? Hey, this this is a totally different animal, and I, I choose that word wisely because Pebble, you have those rolling oh, undulations, the weather to contend with. Why did you I not? Do you know what? That TPC Scottsdale's a little flatter. It's a little I never easy put feed or draw on it because I, I thought I had the uh, short, short shaping on. Just the electricity that the fans provide. Uh, but this is just a tournament. It's, it's, a, it's a don't miss. Because I think the last round I played was uh, like two or settings. Uh, and I actually was feeding and drawing the ball at first one straight, which is quite quite a lot of fun. But we should have. Oh my goodness, backups! Not a bad play that he actually, and that's quite good because he eventually did land back in the bunker. Which I mean, that there for for ball physics, I think is absolutely so fantastic. A result on the tee shot because if the bunkers are hard, it will bounce. You know, if the it's sat, there's not much like loose well, sand. Good. Oh, jeez. Well, it looked dicey in the, in the fairway bunker, but that was such a great strike too. You've got to Hello. clean out of a fairway bunker. You just see that saw out there hits the green. Right, we're in the rough. Um, great shot. What do we want to do here? Yeah, probably the finesse. That window, I think, is going to carry it a little bit. Although the rough. Russ maybe going to take that back. It is below the feet, so let's just adjust for that. The wind also. Um, hmm, okay, I'm going to rethink this. So, <coughs> <coughs> this is the other bag we've got. We've got this 64 red. Cheers coming from that. Par 3. Stadium. Oh, that's all over it. Oh, what a shot. And here at the 10th, with the iron in hand, and hits it stone cold close. Five feet now for Birdie. It just shows you how close Cantley was. We're actually putting first. Yeah, this is just probably, I would say, right edge. Yes, rolls it right Good in. It. A Gets five under. I'm actually feeling good for this tournament. Scottsdale is one of those courses where it can really bite in the bum, but oh my god, well that, that seems as if it was getting stuck. So Cantley goes to six under, he's one shot ahead of us. There's a leaderboard, Connors is nine under. So Picture perfect here in the month of February, but come August, we know that'll be a much different story. Still, Frank, beautiful, apart from keeping beautiful your course. focus and embracing... And again, you know, the, the, the graphics in this game, I think, are just like, what is really, the key to really, being successful really good. Here at TPC Scottsdale? That the, the duck, duck, the shadow really in the water there was a little bit funny. Everybody talks of the elevation here, which is about 1,500 feet above sea level. 
So on a normal day around 75 degrees, that's about 5% you'd adjust. But in these cold, crisp mornings, and also Let's later in the day, a bit of a feed. that drops a little baby feed. So a little baby power well feed. Here, are very aware of how much that affects their iron plate. The iron's got a little shorter in the, in the, at the start of the day. They go, you know, they go a little further. Didn't get much uh, feed. In the middle of the day, and then they drop down again in the afternoon. It so was plus 1.9%. It's going to find the first cut, which ain't, ain't a bad thing. One of the best swings of the day. Just unlucky. Only 113 from the pen. The first cut. There's cheers coming from that, that 16th. See, this is this is this is better uh, cantaway physics. Just, you know, wasting a little bit of time. Beautiful swing. That one looking a little right. Yeah, it's fine. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. So right, cantaway is 178 yards. yards. I, I've only got. About 113. There's my ball up there, just at the, just to the left. It's got a good shot in. It's going to be maybe just, yeah, just drifts a little bit to the left. Pretty the ball for good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag. Right. Buddy. So we've got a different wedge uh, way out here. I've actually, I've actually put, if you notice, I've got the black, I've got black, chrome, and kind of the, the gold colour wedge. And it just, it's quite good to do that. It differentiates between the the wedge sets that you've got. And it's, they're all tailor made, I think. The black and the chrome are the same model. The, the kind of gold, rose gold one is a different, I think that's like a raw edge or something it's called. Right. Yeah. That wind is a little bit, maybe even go to the 58 here. Balls above the feet as well. Get down, bite! Bites a little. Again, I was uh, actually shot. doing my live stream, on the green. and I, I was jumps. talking about how like Let's swapping bring clubs in this game for a and approach play is a little bit more well, field based rather than like, like actual numbers. The hole, he's left himself a very makeable opportunity. Track quite like, oh, he Man, just misses Bum's edge. Spot on a good putt, but nothing to show for it. Oh, I meant to do my... This is a 13 footer. I keep meaning, I need to get this set up properly. I need to get my um, greens and regulation. So we... We got the green regulation at the first hole. Let's let's spin it actually. I keep forgetting to do it. In fact, what what have we got? I think we've got three tokens already. So I'm just gonna quickly get grab a pen and write that down. So we've got three tokens. Let's spin this wheel. Now you probably, as I say, you probably able to hear it. It's got a machine gun. That's a spinny wheel. So we get a medium, so I'm just going to write that down, medium, which means five holes, so we need to get, it's hard to say because if it was six, it would be four, and then two, easy two, medium four, and then obviously hard to, to get all the greens. Um, so five holes would be, I think we'd, we've kind of went three, four, five. So let's go four. So we've got one, we've got two. Right, let's go. Putt. Uh, I think it's a, is it a level? Yeah, it's level. A little bit of break. Now I think this is like, like a, a ball outside left. I can hear that cheer from the the, the grandstand again, but it's distant, which is really good. Duck and this here. The, the sound in this game is really good as well. Now let's go. Ah, uh, not enough. That one, damn. That's going to sneak on by. Oh, 
So I may do a video, like a standalone video, just dis describing, maybe in better detail, the so then, what I'm talking about, Green's regulation and club specs. And he'll stay at 500. And like boosts for, for certain rounds. Oh. Okay, that one finished off. We're a par. So we both get a par. Right where he is. Par 3 12th may not be as famous as the par 3 16th, but Frank, you think this may be a tougher and even better hole? We see more bogeys. 12th is bogeys actually a, is 12 quite a tough hole. Par 3. And courtesy of the water behind and to the right of the screen. If you're going to bail out, find one of those bunkers. A good bunker player obviously can get it up and down, but it's still no snack trying to record your par 3 at 12. I don't know what we're going to get in the green here. Um... I'm going to go with a high draw. I'm actually going to go with quite a lot of a high draw. Just to try and get it to settle down on this screen. I just ran out a little bit. Um, that just a maybe even bit. half the trying to move that from right to left. Maybe even half the other club a down a little bit, maybe. I took a little bit off it. Good shot though. I probably will at some point put shot shaping on because I've been I've been kinda getting and that one semi decent the green, at getting the, the fades either. and the draws. Sitting up in the short grass. So can't tell he misses the green. Oh, we missed it. So we missed the green. So I'm just going to put an X. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. I don't know how that 64 wedge is going to react because react, I don't think I've, I've checked with it. I've checked with the, the 60. Um, I think I want to go maybe a bit here. Right, it should come over. It should sort of, but make its way over to the right because of the slope. That's quite a long backswing. I feel that's too long. Yeah, I had a chance. Maybe it's went by a little bit too much. And really just sort of wasting shots. Those are the ones, Frank, you expect to get in there close. Yeah, I'll give him a little credit. Maybe overzealous, expecting to hold it, but what yeah. could have been a tap in is now a difficult part. He's a part, mate. There, it wasn't a lot of break. Great edge. And he'll stay right where he is. Can't wait for his part. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll remain right here. So we're both 6 under, 5 under. I think we were the leader, still 9. Oh, the leader's. This is the leader's actually shot really at 62. really kicks in at TPC Scottsdale. The 13th hole is a par 5 at 558 yards. It is a wonderful par 5. Good chance uh, of getting on here. On the right. into, uh, the again, under a big bunker on regulation. The if you can drive the ball straight here, keep it out of that trouble, well, then you absolutely have a chance to get home in two and maybe... Now a little bunker there. Tiny little bunker. So we've already got the power drive selected, which is... Really, what I want to be. Maybe I just want to draw this. Get it turning over. It should be good. Should be good. 318 no yards carry. That's going to wind up safe. Apex in the 95 way. foot. 340 yards. Lovely. But that could probably be a that could probably be the JPEG preview. Can't always thinking. It's 
Gonna find the first cut. Of, he just oh, right along. Oh, That's not a good tee shot right there. Goes back onto the fairway. Not a bad drive. We kind of really don't need power. I mean, I think the power set we've got just now is, is pretty good. So I may just, like, as I say, I'm, I'm going to stockpile all my, my skill points because I, I want to. I want to see where I want to go. I've not really decided. As I say, I think we drive the ball pretty decent. Oh, 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 sort of put across easier if we go under the green regulation we actually get two GIRs so at the moment we've got two we need to get three greens in regulation I think to get the, the skill point so if we get this we'd be sitting four and we would we would achieve it obviously I wouldn't say this one's as risky because it's quite a big green to play with so we're going to go for this green so we could get the uh, that token on this hole, right? So what we got here? Two hundred and six to the pin. I think we can go. I think we can go this club. Maybe even hit it kind of full. I think the seven iron should be fine. Oh, I need to sit. Uh, oh, it just goes off the green. Oh, damn. All right, that's a good shot from there. Home and two. So on we don't the get five. we don't get a green regulation because we gambled. Stop from that far away. Good shot just though. I mean, we're just, just over the back there, yeah, but here. oh, we don't get the. That's another. That's an X. So we actually need to get on the green in the last hole to get my. To get this little token, as I say, I'll explain maybe in another video, like a, a standalone video, my, my so an ideas. Ideal spot right here, just off the green, a makeable chance at Eagle. I don't know if I really like the Texas Wedge at times. The Texas Wedge makes a lot of sense here, but I feel sometimes it's quite difficult. Right, we're going to go for it because I think it is the kind of the kind of wise shot. Maybe go another step. Right, let's go. See, I, I find the brakes quite deceiving. Just like that. It's oh, that's a, a par five, isn't 13. it? Bobby. And he's going to get I was it to thinking, six oh, under par. I think because I had a 7-iron into a par 5, I feel it's like a par 4. That always surprises me. That. I don't know how many times... Oh, my God. No problems there. That one. The counterweight bubbles as well. 7-under. We go to 6-under. Three, under. three shots back. Three behind uh, the leader. Corners. We come now to the 490 yards. Par 4, 14. Quite yeah, as intimidating hole. as number 11, but every bit is demanding. So we need to get the green regulation for this one. Players hit into a green sitting precariously on what was once a spectator's mound. Yeah, the, the, the pen's right at the front. And it's quite a tight fairway, so I think I'm just going to put in a, a normal. Slight underswing. We do hit the fast though. It should hold the fairway. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Mm, excuse me.
really Good starting shot. to make There's a hard ball game. Just ahead Look, there. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. This is right, where the club is so important. Second One, seven, shot two. into that stiff breeze. Quite a difficult shot. That's quite a long shot. You don't really have a lot of green to work with. Oh, he's right at it. Oh, beautiful. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. Right. Now, no to his the ball is above the feet. The fairway, into the wind. Right at 155 yards to the front, 159 to the hole. Got the nine iron, so this should this location. should settle down a little bit. Maybe we're gonna play a little bit of a drop. Oh, Let's go. We do over swing it. Oh, that's that's not gonna find the. So we don't get. That's we don't get the, to the token eh, 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 for this round. Winds up in a bunker. Yeah, an awkward little bunker shot, just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Yeah, we kind of want to... <sighs> Oh, we just get it up and over. Okay, pretty big swing okay, necessary there, and on the game. not all that bad from. I wasn't that really a great uh, pick shot there. This is a nine footer. Missable. It's a missable putt. I do get it. Okay, good putt, and a par here at fourteen, and he'll remain at six under par. This so is that is the last hole we're doing. I've noticed it's that sometimes that would give you your score. I think the scorecard that fills up uh, and it shows you what your eventual there. score would Birdie's be. 13, so Cantley, <coughs> because Cantley was the last guy to go lead. in, you see his score. So you're simulating 65. Our featured golfer in a good position, you'd have to say. Six under. Just That's not bad. Off the pace after round one. Just got to keep the Three behind check, 20 though, corners. To get, uh, well, further away. So that's a wrap for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. Not a bad uh, first round, 65, 6 under. Um, pretty good. I wonder if he'll play with Xander Shoffley. Or are we still going to be stuck with Cantaway? I say that as if it's like a bad thing, but... So, let's uh, jump into round two. So, again, Connors has went to 10 under. Uh, our current score is 6 under through 6 holes, so... We haven't really... Our uh, simulated golf is just parred, basically. Now let's do this uh, spin the wheel, see what we've got for the green. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present well, it's hard. the season-long race. So we need to hit every, every green regulation, which From is the Sonoran not easy. Desert and always entertaining TPC Scottsdale, it's live second-round coverage of the WM Phoenix Open. It is known oh, as six. the greatest show on grass. And it has lived up to that moniker through the first couple of rounds as we take a look at the Friday leaderboard. The leader is the Canadian Corey Connors. He sits at 10 under par. So a buddy and a we'll bogey. to the action here as we pick things up on the par four six, six holes. Hole. So six greens regulation needed for the token just to highlight. I don't think we want to mess too much with this. Maybe we want to just try and get a good tempo. Yeah, we're fast. But I think we're going to be okay. Do you find the fair way? Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole.
Oh, it's a uh, Scottish chef one. I should say bugged Scottish chef one. Because he's scoring like, on, on the course while you're Say playing with him's not Iona Steven. Not really We've working out. Three, two left to the flag today. Ball sitting in the rough needs to be careful of that flyer. Oh, that's gorgeous. I know it's the second shot golf course, but what an awesome shot! I don't care. That's the first, the last. That's a great shot. Should be able to spin this if he wants. Ninety-six yards left for his second. See, this is where I'm a little bit. Unknown. Are we going to get spin out of this? Uh, you wonder. I'm actually playing for spin. Yeah, we do. We do get a little bit. It's not like a zippy spin, but that's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green and regulation. So birdie chance. Yeah, it's a green regulation. Right. One inch down. Let me just keep it. Let's keep it there. Uh, break. Again, it's maybe two balls outside right. Oh, not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. Of course, but also go miss it on the low side. Four feet. All that's left for birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. Yeah, I'm just not even going to commentate and check the score. Safely in for par here at the sixth. Right, steady stay start. We'll get the right part. Where he is. Now to the second par three on the front nine. This is the seventh hole. They caught a stiff par three because of the narrowness in the front. Um, really favouring a, a higher shot that's going to land softly, and therefore you can open up that green. Because the further back you go, the I remember this hole too key. It, it, it just fe oh yeah, uh, I don't know. I think it feels a little bit different. Chef, what? Oh, it's oh, it's actually perfect. It bounces up a little. Yeah, not bad. Okay, that one's dancing. Quite a long shot. It's the tricky thing here is really like the rollout. Um, I'd probably like to play like a maybe like a high fade, kind of. I think we might have. Mm, what's wrong? Ah, that's the. We don't get the token. It okay, is. you can see what he was trying to do right there. Maneuver that ball left to right. Yeah, Just too much club. It a little bit. Too much club. I think we need to be careful with this one if we. Because see, it just rolls away. If we go for the pitch, we'd have to be really precise. I think. I think possibly the uh, the flop is the shot here. Oh, Oof. off the flag stick! Almost uh, dunks it, no. but that actually ends up worse. Oh, come off the pin. We turn to no to begin the third. a long putt, safe putt at birdie. Not a ton in this, but you have to hit it firm. Oh, well, yes. he gets it, but does he get it? Slope. It is in for a birdie. And that'll move him to seven under par. Five inches down. Um, it's kind of a little trick work. It's makeable, though. It's makeable.
Oh, beautiful putt. Oh, that'll bring a rise smile. A <coughs> very good putt there to save his <coughs> Good squad. save. And he'll remain right where he is. But unfortunate hit the pin. Now here at the par four. The corners is at 11 under par. Left, and this dog leg's made more severe now by the addition of two bunkers. I think we need to uh, start making some bunkers soon. Get back into this. Right. But those two bunkers certainly make this a sharper dog leg. And because it forces the player to go down the right side, adds length to the already long 475 yards. So they must know about, about Sheffler and his scoring yeah, bugs. Right they probably will be getting a fix for it. PGA Tour moves back to California next week. We'll be at Hogan's Alley in Riviera Country Club just west of Los Angeles for the Genesis Invitational. Frank, we go from hysteria to history. Oh, you do, yeah. Humphrey Bogart's tree on the left side of the 12th hole um, is still there, and it's still a feature. A huge sycamore tree that kicks the odd ball away from the green. Uh, it's good. The whole golf course is in a, in, a, in a sort of a bowl, so you get these swirling winds. I know they've tried to... Uh, renovate the golf course over the last few years. It's actually made the fairways a little wider, but another straight up test. I mean, the West Coast swing, you really have to bring your game. This one's looking good. Spins. Not holds the green. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. A left to right breeze. Right. We don't want to do regulation. Second shot. <clears throat> Score. It's kind of difficult. Um, obviously, the pitching wedge, we can't really come back. Let's go finesse. Yeah, let's finesse this in. Still, with tempo still fast. So we're kind of losing a little bit of direction. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance... It's on the green, though, but kind of a long way from the hole. Knuckle, like a four or five footer, so this first putt's going to have to be good. A look here at birdie. And this really is all about visualisation. You've got to see the line in your head, pick out a spot, maybe a foot, foot and a half in front of you, and aim for that. I think I brought that back another notch. I think I had it right the first time. I, I sort of... Oh, I kind of talked myself out of it. Here for birdie. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the 8th. I think I registered these bugs in the last hole. Just five feet left. Okay, good roll there. Now, it is steady a start. Here, We're not making any buzzies yet. Right where he is. Um, oh, 20. Corners has dropped back to 10. Right, what's the strategy off the tee? Well, there's one bunker down the uh, right side that you have to be very wary of. He holds left. 325 <clears throat> yards to carry that, so, so it's very yeah, much in play. And we just over making some buzzies, I think. It. Ideally, you have to go left about that down the left side. But uh, really, this is a second shot hole because this green is not very deep. And that will do just fine. Should be good. I 
I think I was too late for the, the photo there. The I even remember to get JPEGs for the, the preview. It just sees me doing it later. Again, that's another good shot in from Scotty. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an This is where, like, not shot. having those club specs on really does make whatever play a little bit different. We've got to be more precise. You do catch it slow in the, the tempo. That's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good shot. I kind of made an really effort to, to, to try and not get a fast tempo on that one. Right, uphill. It's a tough one because it's almost like a double breaker, but... I think maybe just a little bit right edge and it'll come back. Oh, I just didn't come back enough though, just bums the edge. Oh. We read it right, we knew it was going to turn and then come back. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. Here to Birdie, and back to plus two now for the round. Yeah, no comment, Chef. So he'll finish that off for his part. Another part. <clears throat> We're struggling here. We're struggling to get going. Projected cut line is uh, plus two. Goal. And Frank, do you think players should consider cutting the corner over that large bunker along the right side? Well, in years gone by, Rich, yeah, this is a hole we didn't play and, uh, consequently that feed. Put in a few new bunkers that we really should have played. That, uh, that avenue or access into 10. Really, the easiest way to play it is just play it down the left side, leave yourself in. Uh, if you want to be brave, uh, be prepared that if you miss, you'll find a bunker. Quite a difficult fairway actually because you start to run Looking out of fairway. Strong finishing kick here on this um, Friday to get set up for easy the to weekend do. and that you really do need to play a fade. Here. I'm going power drive, I'm just going big here. Uh in fact Are we gonna go for that tree? I think you could. I'm going to run out of fairway. Uh, rough. Ah. That's going to be into the rough right behind the big stadium structure at 16. King cut back left here today as he stares down his second to the par four. Keek. Ah, good shot. Safely yeah, not a decent shot, and for Chef what? So a poor tee shot at ten. Now his second. Can you think that should be right on it? Ah, give him a fast tempo. Oh, don't hit, I was going to say don't hit the pin. It's a better shot, and. Now this, for birdie at 10. And he let quite a few opportunities slip through the cracks on the front side, so he'd love to take advantage here. Now uh, that's the way to start the backside. A perfect read. It's a birdie at number 10. And he will definitely not say no to that. Tiny, tiny bit of break. I think it's just the uh, right edge. Anyway, we got a bug there. Yeah, that's in for birdie. 
And that's going to get him to one under foot around and seven under now. For that's the a difference tournament. getting the course though. 23 now is went to 12 under. 11, Frank, I really like this the leader. Hole. Well, you might be the only one, Rich, because this is an absolute Yeah, we've seen this fly over for this hole. Water all the way down the left side. There's two bunkers. Don't worry Sheffield about that. They're off the tee. They're around the green. It's they set. protect the left front and the back. If you think it says you up there, down Scotty down the right Sheffield's the leader. He's even, well, his score right. is even par, and but he's, me, go down there, more than he's any, made, he's made quite a few buffies. Um, uh, I really don't no know. Here. That is into the fairway. It's kind of annoying because, you know, you're playing against a guy that's maybe playing quite well, but the score format and his, his scorecard just doesn't match. I think we'll go with a little bit of a fade here. Should be good. Yeah, it's perfect. I always feel off the tee, he feels if you're a little bit more to the right. For a strong finishing kick Just the way it looks. Again, we've got a fast though. I've been, playing, I've been playing fast quite a lot. Maybe I need to change my tempo. I think I've got it as fastest, it so you know, maybe I've settled into the game. Maybe we just need to change that. I might try that one out. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Second shot up coming with that pin tucked in the front left. Right. Do we, I don't think we'll get to spin. Come on, baby. Spin a little. Yeah, we do get a little bit of spin control. Uh, good shot. Spin there, it's the decent. Green, 30, 30 foot. This will be a so we're inside Sheffler. Let's we'll see what Sheffler does. Yeah, he drains it. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one will certainly help the cause. Waving at the ducks. Oh, this is. I would say it's ever so slightly there but it does come back at the end yeah that's Center good part. let's go here at one so we go to nine under par to nine we get two bumpies there our simulated golfer gets a bumpy so our featured golfer here pretty solid not bad the first fourth days, safely um, to the weekend and squarely in the conversation that's right rich get off to a good start Cody Connors and early and drops uh, back a couple exciting come Sunday 11 under tied so with Patrick Cantaway well, Frank 23 Nota, now is 14 under par crew. Rich Lerner saying so we're five shots behind at halfway point we we'll do make the cut next time on EA um, Sports PGA Tour. Where's Scotty Sheffler? See, I mean, Scotty Sheffler had a leader up in his, uh, his header, on his, uh, his score. But he's only three under par, so I don't... I think they really need to get, jump on that pretty quick. Uh, I wonder who we're going to be, be playing with. Maybe Tony Finau. Yeah, I think it'd be totally. You, you would, or it could be Patrick Cantaway. Anyway, folks, that is going to do it for this uh, video. Rounds one and two of the WM Waste Management Phoenix Open is complete. Not bad, nine under par. A decent, a decent outing so far. Uh, really need to get our. Uh, Putting's been decent. I think like our approach play has not maybe been like fantastic. But anyway, folks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.